what it is yes. about. In your opinion, what is uh, making Mandela about? It's about the childhood of Nelson Mandela mm -hmm. and the fact that in the year 1918, which is the year that he was born, it was the same year that the Afrikaner Broederbond formed and cr had their first meeting. And ultimately, every president in apartheid was a member of the Afrikaner mm -hmm. Broederbond. So it's this, this sort of fantastic clash of, of history that, that is maybe a little bit unknown. So it's these, these two forces that have um, um, upbringings at the same time, but of course, completely different upbringings. Yeah. So um, whilst we follow quite closely um, the, the the childhood of Nelson Mandela, we we, we, we juxtapose it with the sort of birth of yeah. of apartheid, really. But here are these different worlds and different bring upbringings and natures. Yeah. Is there something in common that they have, though? Is there something in common? <laughs> I mean. Uh, <laughs> No, I, I don't know. I mean, when you're trying to form who you are and, 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 and what you stand for, and they have that in common. Yeah. So at the same time, the Broederbond were, uh, you know, the, the, this, this, this organization, they were trying to protect their, their, their culture. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what they were doing against the English, not yeah. even like, you know, so, the, you know, it's a big story. But, and he has this young boy who's trying to make his way in the world. Like, who is he? What is it? These sort of various influence, losing his father when he was very young, and then meeting the, the regent and um, that sort of massive influence of, of seeing the, 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 what you witnessed um, now was the, um, the elders at the tribal council and how they dealt with conflict and, and, and things that came. So in that sense, yes, <laughs> they, they are working out who they are yeah. and how they are in this place. Let's talk about your cast, Melinda, Liberling and Jacques. Why were they the best people to um, have your vision on stage yes. and the way you and uh, Nick saw it. Why were they yes. the best people for these roles? Well, um, the, um, the, the Mandela role needed to be a Cosa actor. Mm -hmm. That was very important mm -hmm. to me. So I went through a, um, a series of, 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 aud of auditioning various people and I taught at the Market Lab um, last year as a sort of, I studied uh, mask theatre yes. in yes. Italy and when I came back my teacher said you must teach. And I thought where can I teach? And I thought the Market Lab is such a, stands for such a good thing. Mm -hmm. so, um, so, so I went and taught and met Mli there and he has something very special that is quite hard to to um to you know it, 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 it's um, it's 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 a charisma and it's a presence and stuff that you can't learn actually mm -hmm. so um so for me it was that jacques is an outstanding mask uh, theater performer i've worked with him previously so mm -hmm. it was a it was a good um fit and it was nice to bring in um, another race so mm -hmm. jacques is colored so it was a, it was nice to, to to do that and then Barileng, the girl was the hardest i went through a massive process of auditioning <laughs> and um she has incredible physical ability because of course each ca each actor including Lee, who plays Mandela, yes. plays many other characters, as you saw now. He mm -hmm. was, wasn't playing Mandela. So, um, so they needed to be versatile enough to be able to do that. All right. So give us uh, ticket prices, times. I know you guys open on the 5th, so because we need to give them another chance yes, to give us a yes, taste of what's going to happen yes. at uh, Making so Mandela. The first two weeks actually sold out, so that's very exciting. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's great. So, um, so there are no tickets for the first two weeks. Um, but the third week, we, um, we are running from Tuesday to Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I think the ticket price is around 100 Rand. I'm sorry, I actually, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> it's okay. It's like you can go there. to the State yeah. Theatre website yeah, for yeah, more. Yeah. But but uh, Janine, thank you so much for thank talking you. to us. She's the director, co-writer, co-producer of Making Mandela. So let's give them another chance to give you a taste of what you can expect at Making Mandela, which opens on the 5th of February, but it's sold out the first two weeks. Guys, take it away.